welcome to today's vlog. It is Thursday. I am headed to town to get groceries. I have to run an errand for Mima, and um, I'm actually gonna go to Aldi today. We've got my meal plan done, so I'm gonna get some groceries there. And then I usually always have to go somewhere else because I love Aldi, but they never have everything I need. So that's my plan so far for today. I also want to show you guys when we get back the garden because it is doing awesome. We've got like eight little squash coming in they're like this big they're so cute but i want to show you guys that when i get back but we are headed to anderson now or i am i'm by myself <laughs> we just got me and Brittany just got home from the store just wanted to show y'all what's going on behind us well let's try this again hold on mm. it's about to storm like crazy We are back at home. I actually didn't get to go to the grocery store because I forgot my list and it is not good when I go to the grocery store without a list. It's raining outside and storming so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to take you out there and show you the garden. If not, we'll do it tomorrow. But I am um, doing something kind of fun. I'm making a homemade strawberry cobbler. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Once you get everything in the cobbler, this is what it will look like. And then we're going to put it in the oven. I've got it preheated for 375 for about 30 minutes. And um, I will show you guys what it looks like when it comes out. But just for a recap, what I did is cut up enough strawberries to put on the bottom of a 13 by 9 pan. I melted um, a stick of butter, put that with the strawberries, and um, probably about a couple tablespoons of sugar and mix that all together. Then I actually wound up adding a little bit more mixture because I forget when forgot when you do a 13 by 9, um, it's actually a cup and a half of milk, a cup and a half of flour, a cup and a half of sugar. So that's really easy to remember, a cup and a half of each of those things. And then um, you just pour that on top of those strawberries and you pop it in the oven. So this is a super easy dessert. It's one of my favorite desserts to do in the summertime because we live in the South and there is always fresh peaches or strawberries or something that we can um make a cobbler out of so this is definitely a southern recipe and as you can tell by the way i talk i am a southern girl so this is what it is and i will show y'all the finished product okay so i got it out of the oven this is a the final product and i think it looks really pretty we'll eat it in a little bit and see what it really looks like or not looks like what it tastes like because that's the most important thing well, the rain has finally decided to stop, so we are going to go out here and check out the garden. Y'all are going to be surprised at how much it's grown. It's crazy. So let's go see. This is the garden. Right here we have a zucchini. As you see, we're getting the blooms on it. Starting to. I don't do that right now, bud. And here's our maters. Um. They're starting to come up. They're getting a lot bigger than they were. I got some blooms on that one. A couple of the other ones. That it's, must be the cherry tomato one. Because you yeah. can see the little spr uh, the sprouts. Sprouts off of it. Um, oh, 
Okay, we got some mint right here. It's gotten a lot bigger. This. And this is a uh, very, very good. Um, <laughs> this is a uh, delicacy. You want to eat it? You want to try, try it, Kyle? Can you Hold eat on. them? You yeah, you can eat it. You ever had these before? Mm -hmm. I forget what they're called. Suckers? No. Weeds! You just right. ate a weed. <laughs> <laughs> That's called <Hey>. centipede grass. <laughs> I don't have to move on it. Alright, right here. Don't forget about this stuff. This is basil that I've planted for my wife to do nothing yeah. with, I guess. I'm waiting till. What can you do with basil until tomatoes get here? Use it for something. Well, I don't need it any right now. And then we have our pepper plants. That's some of them. These are the jalapenos. And then that one is a um, jalapeno. And that's a habanero. That's a green beans. Yep. Green beans galore. And we have some more. Uh, this is a orange, a red, <coughs> a green, and that's a Another bell pepper, some color. This is the most exciting. There's our little squashies. We got little squashies. Lots of them. Lots and lots of them. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Four on that one. Uh, not now. Mm. You got one, two, three, four on that one. We got eight little squashes already. And then our cucumbers. We gotta get them staked up. Yeah, we're gonna build like a trellis for them. And then we have the strawberries over here, which I've already had a couple of those and they're really good. But they're starting to kind of come in, but they haven't really turned red, most of them yet. I found some of them. So that's our garden update and um, I think it's looking really good. I am super excited about this year. I love having a garden. We didn't have a garden last year and I missed it so much. But we should probably have some squash winbo. Maybe a couple weeks. A week maybe. That squash goes fast. Probably the beginning of the next week we'll be eating squash. So it is going good. And I'll show you guys another update next week. Okay, tell us what it is, Kai. Sure. I don't know if you guys have these everywhere, but in the south, we have loads of honeysuckle. And Kyler, last year, what did you do at your school? Sold them. He sold them. He started a little business selling honeysuckles. And now I can't do it anymore. Yeah, his teacher wouldn't let him do it this year. He's upset. But this is a lot of honeysuckles. I know what Kyle's going to be doing for the next couple weeks. He's going to be out here eating all of them. <laughs> Show them what you do. Look at me. You pick out the top and then if you didn't take out a string, you have to find a string. And, and then what's inside the string? Honey. Honey. So we sent Kyler out to uh, look to let Gus outside. And I come outside. And this is what my son's doing. We're gonna go ahead and end the vlog tonight. It has been a fun night. It's been rainy and nasty outside, so we've been just stuck inside all day. You wanna hear a joke? Sure. I need a girl in this house, guys. It's Gus is a boy. Michael's a boy. Kyler's a boy. Dixie's a boy. It's farting, burping. Ew. Non-stop. All the time. All the time. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> but we had a fun day. That strawberry cobbler. It turned out okay. It wasn't the best I made. I should have put a lot more strawberries in there. But it was okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> But I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you do, give us a 
thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel we are almost at we're like 68 subscribers and i would love to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month that's my goal which is crazy because when we first started youtube i didn't think anyone would want to watch our videos and now almost 100 people have subscribed to us so that's pretty cool we love sharing our life with you guys and hope that you can learn from our stupid mistakes <laughs> and um just take this journey with us because it is a fun one, I think. Remember, kids, always wear sunscreen. Because you wear sunscreen. Look how burnt you are. And doesn't even feel like it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I guess that's it for tonight. You got anything to say? Merry Christmas. A happy new year. Bye, guys. Oh, you say bye-bye with a baby. You haven't been on here all day. What do you want to say? Guys, guys. Bye. Gus. 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 Uh, let's tell the story about Gus today. <coughs> Gus, I'm fixing to tell my story. Gus. Be quiet, let me tell him this story. Look, this dog was just laying in his cage, laying in his bed asleep. All of a sudden, he farted. I heard it. And what he did, he ran away. He runs away from his farts every time. Don't you? Do you run away from your farts? <laughs> Look at the way he's looking. What the hell?